is. They work separately, but always together. Always on the offensive, overwhelming, and outnumbering one's opponent like two unrelenting foes. The motion is fluid and precise, like the flow of a stream. Hey, the name's Cruel. That's King Rob Rule, and welcome back to my no-nonsense weapon guide series. For newcomers to the series, these videos serve as tools to make first-time weapon use less daunting. It is in no way a full toolkit of any given weapon, but a great place to start. This is usually the part where I give a brief description of the weapon, but I think the Ace Commander pretty much nailed it in the intro, don't you think? Now just as a heads up, the format of this video is going to deviate slightly from the rest, because I believe the dual blades can be felt out, so to say, compared to other weapons, due to how non-committal many of the attacks are. The X and A attacks can kind of be freestyled. In this guide, I'll be giving you the fundamentals of the weapon, as well as the two approaches to playing dual blades, regular and aerial. But first, here are the basics. The most fundamental part of the dual blades is demon mode. You can enter it at any time by pressing ZR. Demon mode boosts your speed and attack power greatly, and slightly alters your moveset. For example, you can get this nice multi-hit combo when pressing X and A together. You want to be using demon mode as much as possible in all encounters. It consumes your stamina though, so be wary of that. As you attack in demon mode, you will fill up this gauge. Once it's full, it will become red. A red gauge means you will be in arc demon mode, outside of demon mode. This state is much better than being in your base state. It's basically a weaker demon mode without the speed and the X and A multi-hit combo. You can perform something similar in arc demon mode, but you will need to press X and A together three times consecutively. TLDR, demon mode is better. Keep using demon mode. Now for wire bug attacks. You can press ZL plus X to do this kunai pierce. It doesn't look like much here, but it's the most damage dealing move in the dual blades kit. Once the kunai is placed, you have a small time frame before it explodes. The more hits you get in before it explodes, the more damage it does. The ZL plus A wire bug attack pulls you in the direction the hunter is facing. Successfully doing this through an attack or roar will grant you invincibility and also deal damage to the monsters within range. It's basically a counter. Now I'll show off the two styles of playing dual blades. First up, regular dual blades. Regular dual blades is all about using your speed to be aggressive as well as reactive. In this style, pressing A has your hunter doing a spinning attack while closing some distance. Your attacks don't deal much damage on their own, but due to your maneuverability and wire bug attacks, you can still run circles around monsters, literally. Here's a little sequence to showcase the playstyle of regular dual blades. The speed and maneuverability of dual blades is insane. And here's aerial dual blades. Instead of A being your closing distances move, it becomes a leaping attack that hurls you into the air upon successfully hitting a monster. You will need to have unlocked 3 star village quests to swap out this switch skill. It's called Demon Flight. It does way more damage than grounded dual blades, but you are also far more vulnerable. Once in the air, you can press X to attack in the air, or you can press A to do this. Awesome, huh? Regular dual blades can do this too. The conditions are simply to be in demon mode and be in the air, but it's so much easier to pull off with aerial dual blades. Just be careful because if you miss it, it can result in this. Finally, since dual blades don't have any strong hitting single attacks, they're not really suited for wake up attacks. So just use large or mega large barrel bombs. You can do a ZL plus A counter through the explosion for a tad extra damage. And that was Dual Blades in 5 minutes. I hope you found this format helpful. Any feedback would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, I've been King Rob Rule. Next up is Lance. Gotta go fast.